This is a video about GCSE Fine Art. My name is Miss Mortimer and I'm one of three members of staff who teach this course at Fairfield. In year 10 of the course, we study a unit based around mandalas. We then move on to portraiture. Between year 10 and 11, we study a unit based on German Expressionism and make lino prints. And at the end of year 11, we do the exam unit. The types of skills that we cover in the course are drawing, painting, printmaking, collage, using composition, development processes. And on the board, you can see some examples of sketchbook pages and final pieces from previous students. So how will you be assessed in the course? 60% of the final grade is made up of coursework and 40% comes from the exam unit. We begin the coursework at the very start of year 10 and everything that pupils make in class time and for homework contributes towards that grade. The exam unit starts in January of year 11 and culminates in a 10 hour long exam. This is spread across two days and it's within the classrooms in school. However, it is under exam conditions. Pupils are assessed based on four different assessment objectives and these are weighted equally. They cover things such as being able to research an artist effectively, being able to work with a range of materials within a portfolio, being able to draw, take photographs to a high quality, and also being able to bring ideas together and create a final response. When pupils leave Fairfield with an art and design GCSE, they may go on to do an A-level in fine art, art, craft and design, photography, textile design or graphic communication, or perhaps to do a BTEC level three in art and design. And further from that, they may work in any of the creative industries shown on the screen, uh, advertising, architecture, arts and culture, crafts, fashion, games, publishing, or even TV and film. To find out more about careers in arts, there's a really great website called The Creative Industries, which you can see some infographics from now on the screen. Some general questions that we're sometimes asked about the fine art GCSE. Um, do I need to buy any art materials? One thing that pupils will need to have for the course is an A3 hardback cartridge paper sketchbook and they need that to work from the start of the course. Um, we do offer art packs for pupils to purchase through the school, which includes a sketchbook, folder and various art materials. Um, and pupils are able to buy that in term one in year 10. Um, how will pupils be supported? Um, pupils will be able to attend at least one lunchtime a week of a catch up where they're able to work in the classrooms with all of the specialist equipment and have their teachers available. Also, we upload all of the class resources onto Teams so they can look back at any work and they can also look to future work um, and access the resources that were used in lesson. How can you develop an interest of art outside of the classroom? We encourage all pupils taking any of the art and design GCSEs um, to take part in local and national competitions. And we regularly distribute information about workshops, exhibitions and events to families. And how can you prepare for your fine art GCSE? In year nine, in term six, pupils who we know are taking GCSE in September will be given a tasks booklet and we ask you to complete three of these tasks over the summer and bring it to your first lesson in year 10. The reason for this is we want you to get used to working in the format that we require you to um, before you start the course. It also forms the first lesson where we look at one another's work uh, and give supportive feedback. Should you wish to contact any of the three members of staff who teach on the Fine Art GCSE course, um, please feel free to email any of us. Um, the members of staff are Miss Cronin, Miss Cooter and myself, Miss Mortimer. Thank you for your time.